All right, guys. So I've been working on uh, a full wheeler. I'm going to show you here in just a second. But here's my buddy's uh, uh, 87 Z28. You can see it's sitting uh, pretty high in the front. There's no motor or training in it. <clears throat> it's a it's a nice car. It's got it's, you know it's dirty and uh, it needs to be cleaned up. A lot of people see that stuff like like how this looks. Oh man, that thing's a piece of junk. It needs to be cleaned up. But well, this is this is not wiring. This is still cables that hold the steering wheel because it doesn't lock. But yeah, it needs a the radio. That whole thing is missing up there in front of the shifter. What's up with that door? Don't you just love those old Camaro doors? They all do that. Yep, it's pressure washed. So, uh, I'll just tell you about the problem I'm having with this guy. <clears throat> so here's parts to it. This is the back fenders, the gas tank cover. This goes on the front. The seat, the muffler, and then that part of the exhaust. Okay, so this is a Yamaha Blaster 200, <clears throat> which is two-stroke. New piston, right? Which has got something on it. Anyways, new piston, uh, new gaskets right there. I want to show you guys something. When I put this on here, hang on here. All right, now watch the piston. It stops right there. I cannot pull that anymore. That's it. It stops just like that. Now, I don't understand what's going on here whatsoever. Um. Maybe if you guys know uh, a lot more about T-Stroke than I do, which is, uh, I understand the how it works and all that stuff. I just don't understand why it's doing that. Uh, I just put some red paint right here to cover up the rust so it doesn't rust the frame anymore. <clears throat> and these stupid grips have got to go, but uh, that's no big deal. Oh, they're not even tight. I'm just spinning. Anyways. Yeah, it's torn apart. This is how I got it. I got the, the supports over here as well. Bolts and stuff in here. Uh, so it's got a new piston in it, of course. Uh, the old one broke. Now we do have it open. And the only thing I've done to this is I took the plastic off the back and uh, I put the gaskets on. I put, I put a, some uh, really thick oil uh, AKA oil treatment, which is like pretty much what we use to assemble engines. And I just very lightly coated the cylinder wall. <clears throat> and that way there's just some residual oil there when it starts up. Maybe to help break this in a little bit better and keep it from, <clears throat> you know, having any excess wear because I do want this top end to last uh, a while. You know, of course they don't last that long. Uh, but see we got some oil down there that I need to clean up uh, after I get it all back together I'll pressure wash it underneath there I might just leave it there because it's just oil it's gonna collect dirt it's gonna collect dirt even without it there so nice tires on it all around this one needs some air that one's good that one needs a lot of air that one needs a little bit of air uh, tires are in good shape the fronts uh, have a little bit more wear than the backs do but uh this is where your traction is so it's got a new chain on it brakes are in good shape this thing overall is in good shape uh, I don't have the fenders which is just two little pieces of plastic uh, I'm, I'm gonna get them uh, not not new ones I'm gonna get the ones that come with this one uh, I just have to go pick them up here soon <clears throat> I got this thing on a thing I made there let me show you the exhaust I got for it. So this is a Pro Circuit Platinum pipe. This is just what was given with it. 
So, uh, what do you call this? I think the... I don't know. I don't want to say any wrong terms here. But, uh, matching muffler, of course. So, this is it says stainless series. So it's stainless pipe. It's aluminum right here. Pro circuit. Until it's been used. That stuff's like caked on there. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's like a glass pack. That thing's gonna be loud. I like that exhaust though. So I can't wait to hear this thing start up with that exhaust on it. Now this is off. And I think the reason for that is the crank case cover. Um, I think this stuff would be in the way for taking it on and off. So I haven't bothered trying to put that on. Uh, I do have the kickstart. Uh oh. But I do have the kickstart. It's my. It's in my truck. So yeah, I need to put that back in there. I'll have to fix that in a minute. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the the piston. Um, if you guys have any recommendations, or heck, a lot of you guys probably already know what's going on with this, and you guys could easily tell me just like that in the comments, and I'll get it done. And then. Once I get this thing back together, or if I run into any more problems on the way, you guys will see an upload from me down uh, on my channel. So, subscribe, stay tuned, guys. And I'll try to get some videos on this sucker, uh, especially after I get these grips replaced. I don't know why these bother me so much. But they really do. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get some uh, matching paint to fix all this up from bootwear. And then I, I could probably do something. I don't know. I'll do something about that. It's on the other side too. I just want to keep this thing from rusting up. Because I mean, overall, it's in, it's clean as long as the motor gets back, put back together and it runs. Here's the cylinder head. I probably won't change out the spark plug because it looks decent. AKA pretty new. Yeah, there's the head on it. I just leave that on there to keep stuff out of the, off the piston. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think the problem is with this thing. Um, hopefully, it's an easy fix because I do want to get this thing up and running today. <clears throat> we'll see about that. That's for sure. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe.